Don't you worry about that. Please movie. welcome Dylan and Virginia to the show. Hey. Thank you. Beautiful disaster. That's yes. a great title. That basically describes my uh, dating life when I was about your age. <laughs> um, so, so uh, please tell us about the premise and your characters. Uh, so the premise is uh, loosely based on a book series, Beautiful Disaster, uh, where Abby is trying to run from a shady past and falls oh. right into the arms of someone she's uh, very reluctant to date, Travis Maddox, who is an underground fighter um, and a very uh, very quirky guy, let's put it that way. He knows You're a what quirky he's, fight club guy? Uh, he's a quirky wow. fight club guy. Yeah. Didn't yeah. see that. Okay. <laughs> right? Your chemistry is so great on screen, and we were talking off camera. Tell everybody how you met, your first meeting. So we met, I was, uh, it was at a Halloween party. I was upside down doing a keg stand. <laughs> My first and only keg stand. As and dressed as what? I didn't know I was going to a Halloween party. I oh. was in no costume. It was villain. Halloween. How yeah, do you not you know you're exactly. going to a Halloween party? Exactly. I didn't know. <laughs> and and exactly. Dylan was dressed as like like uh, like a tooth fairy, like a green I like was fairy. Dated me. I was a wood elf, okay, which is a <laughs> subsect of elf that lives exclusively in the forest. And I had leaves all over me, and she's been calling me a green bean ever since. Dedication yes. for yes. you coming up with that. That's yeah. good. So you're doing the keg, it. and my guy strolls up and does one with you, huh? I did at a later time, and both of us have decided that keg stands are no fun. No so time. we've never done them again. <laughs> we've put that away. And you get covered in beer. Like, you're just, like, covered afterwards. It's not fun. It's sad to say that we did not do keg stands on the wrap of this movie. But That's the next time y'all saw each other, was it in the audition process? Like, how did that come about? Well, the next time we saw each other was after we both had gotten the job and we were getting lunch with our director, Roger Cummel. So that was the next time. Yeah, and she uh, subsequently roasted me for my fit again. <laughs> um, you were wearing the elf costume again? <laughs> yeah. Which, <laughs> you brought it back. It's just my thing. <laughs> That's great. So you mentioned um, you play an underground fighter. Very I cool. Do, yeah. I, were you a fan, are you a fan of boxing? How much training did you put into it? I am. I'm definitely more of a fan of MMA. I took mm -hmm. some MMA and boxing and taekwondo growing up, although she's a black belt, so uh, she definitely has me nice. real? I she, am a black belt in taekwondo, yes. What? Okay. <laughs> But she was nine years old, okay? I, I was not nine years old. It's a little that. different. I broke a brick. I'm strong. Uh, okay, it's different. I nine feel like year old her beat you down. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Nine years old, she would have whooped me. Um, uh, but yeah, we did a lot of training for this. I'm a big, lazy cat, and normally I don't like to do anything physical, but I finally got out of my shell and now have adopted some of those same antics at home. I built a home gym. Good for you. I have a boxing set up in my house. Nice. So I'm happy. It works. Right on, man. The director of this, right, was the director from the 90s movie Cruel Intentions. So does this movie have kind of that dark undertones that we saw in that 90s movie? I think it does a bit in terms of my, like Abby, my character's history is a bit dark and you see some of like downtown Vegas, like sort of a grimy, Little dirty gritty. feeling Vegas. Yeah, but I think more than anything, Roger did like Just Friends later on in some of these like big, broad 90s romantic comedy. And I think our movie has a lot of that kind of flavor and nostalgia to it, which is really fun. Of course, you and your brother, because I always, I always, I'm, I'm proud of you because I always root for former child actors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. let's go. It's tough to make yeah. that transition. Let's go. Um, but you guys start opposite, of course, Adam Sandler in uh, Big Daddy, Jennifer Aniston in, in oh, Friends. Oh, that's cute. And, uh, what, was it something that go. you just kind of fell into? Did mom just want it? Because you're so young, I know, when you got into it, but was it something you always wanted to do or mom just kind of? You know, at that age, you don't make many decisions for yourself. Um, <laughs> so uh, what my mom was particularly savvy, she knew that uh, child actors have a work limit during a day. Uh, and if you have two of the same child, you can double your hours. Oh. So uh, Good on she, mom. she marketed it like that, and yeah. uh, it worked. So well played. Happy. Yeah, well played. Uh, well, I just interviewed Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Did Adam you? says he discovers y'all. He was very funny yeah. about it. <laughs> and then Jennifer Aniston was just singing y'all's praises. Here's that. And when we were shooting uh, at Murder Mystery, I saw Dylan yeah. Sprouse late night in my hotel. You did? I really did. It was like 2 in the morning, and I heard a voice, and I was like, man, that sounds familiar. In your hotel room? Uh, not in the room, <laughs> in, the, in the lobby. Oh! And the what youngster you was at 2 eating eggs. And oh, Cole had said he had the biggest crush on you shooting friends. Oh, that makes sense. That's, uh, he was so little. I know, yeah, they're well, 30 yeah. now. I, I know. What? what? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> They're cool. They're oh, really cool. No, I just love not. all that crossover. It's crazy. <sighs>
So wait a minute. So <laughs> Cole so said he had a crush on Jennifer Aniston. Not you, Dylan. You didn't. Uh, no no crush there? I like brunettes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Courtney Cox is more his jam. <laughs> but wait, that clip is funny because <laughs> I was just in Paris very briefly and I did see Adam, but it was not 2 a.m. It was 8 p.m. <laughs> and he's just old. Dude, like, that's, that's go like to that. sleep. Like 2 a.m. Like, What's he doing? Adam, if, if, if 8 p.m. feels like 2 a.m., go to bed. <laughs> what do you great. remember about them back then? And then what was it like bumping into them? Uh, I remember distinctly, which I find phenomenal, the shoot, nowadays we shoot everything very fast, right? Even feature length movies will take a month, maybe sometimes max, right? We shot that movie for four months, uh, Big Daddy, for four months, and wow. half of it was because between every take, Adam had a cooler full of beer <laughs> and a basketball set up that he would watch in between takes. That's and so, so it just dragged on, That's but was, it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, as the crew love that. Oh, yeah, they yeah. did. It was, it was so like, fun. Yo, meanwhile, That's beautiful right. disaster looks fun, sexy. Yes. Congratulations Thank on it. You. Look love forward to checking it out. Beautiful disaster is available on video on demand in all digital platforms. So check it out May 2nd. All right, up next, she stars alongside her father on the hit show Lopez versus Lopez. Maya Lopez is here. Coming up next.